the University of Hong Kong, endowed professorships are created to provide perpetual support to areas of academic excellence. With a close partnership between Tang and Gang, between generous philanthropists and academe, endowed professorships represent a promise to scale new heights in our commitment to humankind. Each gift comes with a story and a dream. Our world is more digital, better connected, and smarter than ever before. Digitalization and connectivity are producing massive amounts of data. This big data enables more and more technologies and innovations. One area of my research is I work with business organizations to analyze their customer transaction record to improve their performance and quality. Another area of my research is I work with physicians at hospitals and clinics so that the patient can be treated better at a lower cost and hospitals can be run more efficiently. Strokes are one of the leading causes of death around the world. My research has led to improved quality of care for stroke patients. I'm hoping it will benefit other patients as well in the future. Professor Shen Haipong's work has helped extend frontiers of many multidisciplinary research domains. For example, he uses big data to optimize the call center workflows to help improve the efficiency of customer service facilities of large organizations. I would like to express my sincere gratitude towards the establishment of the Patrick S. C. Poon Professorship in Analytics and Innovation. I would like to use this endowment to continue my research to make further contributions to our digital world and society. I invite Dr. Patrick Pong to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. <laughs> Pro Chancellor, I present Patrick S. C. Pong, Professor in Analytics and Innovation, <laughs> Shanghai Pong. Human genome is the blueprint of humans. Based on that, we know what kind of proteins are important for lives, and suddenly we can understand the secret of life. We would like to know the subclass of uh, human genomes, in other words, it's the metallo-containing proteins. In fact, one third of them are metal proteins or metal-containing proteins. My research focuses on identification of these metalloproteins. How does those uh, proteins work in our body? And subsequently, we know how to manipulate. And eventually, we can develop new medicines for treatment of bacteria infection and cancer. Professor Sun is a leader in the research of bioanalytical chemistry and bioinorganic chemistry. His work on metal drug will lead to the discovery of new drugs and new treatment methods of different diseases. Another area of research is the bacterial infection, which is caused by superbugs. We will find a new way to overcome this bacterial infection. I sincerely thank Norman and Cecilia Ebe for their kind support for our research. We will use this endowment fund to expand our research team on bacterial infection and other drug development. I invite Mr. Norman and Mrs. Cecilia Yip to receive a certificate of appreciation from the <laughs> Pro-Chancellor. <laughs> Pro-Chancellor, I present Norman and Cecilia Yip, Professor in Bioinorganic Chemistry, Sun Kongzhe.
My research examines the importance of institutions and culture in the long-run development process of China. In that particular regard, one of the objectives is to examine why China fell behind Europe in the Middle Ages. Historically, the civil exam system is one of the most important institutions in China. In historical prefectures where there were more Jinshi scholars, which was the highest attainable degree under the civil exam, people there today simply go to school more, and which is translated into higher earnings. In my research, I discovered that mace was imported to China from today's Mexico during the Qing Dynasty. This has led to significant population growth, and which had prevented an industrial revolution from occurring. That was something unexpected. Professor James Cohn is a leading scholar in economic history. His work on ancient and modern Chinese economic history has shown the power of quantitative methods in answering historical questions. His work has inspired and excited a new generation of young scholars. I would like to thank Sane and Isaac Sway for the generous endowment support. I will make productive use of the resources made available to me to furthering good scholarship in China's economic history. I invite Mr. Isaac Su and Ms. Sen Chu to receive a certificate of appreciation from the co-chancellor. Co-chancellor, I present Sen and Isaac Su, professor in economic history James K.S. Kong. Most startups fail. If it fails, entrepreneurs can always quickly start another one but not integrity. Integrity is made of glass. If you drop it, it will fail. And it's very, very difficult to be rebuilt. My research focuses and examines on what role can business ethic play at the very early stage of a company. All of our data were collected in China. Entrepreneurs in China tend to face intense ethical dilemmas involving their own values and social responsibility. My research aims to provide strong empirical evidence showing that ethical behaviors of entrepreneurs can always bring significant benefits to the organization. Professor Lam is a world-class researcher and a lead scholar in management ethics. His studies in corporate governance and ethical behavior are published in top international journals, offering critical insights for Hong Kong and global firms. Professor Ian Davis was the 13th Vice Chancellor of the University of Hong Kong. The Ian Davis Professorship in Ethics was established whereby his legacy shall continue. I'd like to express my sincere gratitude for the generous donation for this endowment. I will use the endowment to further my research in ethics as well as building an exchange platform to promote good practices in ethics. I invite Ms. Maggie Crossway to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. <laughs> Pro Chancellor, I present Yen Davis, Professor in Ethics, Simon S. K. Nan. I invite Professor Norman Ko Wang Man to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. <laughs> Pro Chancellor, Professor Christopher Chow, Dean of Engineering, will represent the university to receive a certificate.
Space law is a new branch of international law. It has a relatively short history since the launch of the first satellite in 1957. My research is about space law. Space law basically deals with the legal regime for space activities, such as telecommunication services and also TV broadcasting, etc. At the moment, I'm looking to a good legal regime for the commercialization of space resources. This is the area which is lacking in the current legal regime. Hopefully, I can come up with a good proposal which can be widely accepted by the international society. Professor Zhou's research is at the frontier of space law, an important branch of international law. His work on the International Space Station and on space resource mining is particularly exciting and interesting. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the donor, Dr. Harrington, for his generosity and firm support to the development of international law. I will use this endowment to further the collaboration with international scholars and institutions, in particular, Asian Academy of International Law. I hope that my research will contribute to the peaceful uses of outer space. I invite Dr. Henry Chen to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. <laughs> Pro Chancellor, I present Henry Chen Professor in International Law, Zhao Yun. Music is one of the most sophisticated art forms. It's essential to the cultural life of any top-notch university like Hong Kong U. My research as a composer is to make the best use of the materials available at my disposal for each project and to articulate an interesting music discourse. A lot of my compositions were written for an ensemble consisting of both Chinese and Western instruments. I hope as a composer, I have been creating works that appeal to my audiences, especially for works that I use a lot of local elements. Professor Chen is not only a great composer, the go-to composer in Hong Kong to represent the region, he's also a great teacher who has inspired many young composers. Each and every creative process is about making decisions. At Hong Kong U, I preach to my students the importance of having the courage to be confronted with many choices. So my teaching and my knowledge exchange work are both informed by my perspective as a composer. I thank Mr. James Chen and Ms. Yunhan Chen for their generous and insightful support to the music department. I will use this endowment to promote creativity in the form of music composition and to cultivate young composers who will define the music landscape for the years to come. I invite Mr. James Chen and Ms. Yunhan Chen to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. Pro Chancellor, I present James Chen and Yunhan Chen Professor in Music, Chang Ping Yan. Children are more susceptible to diseases because of their immature immune system. My research is in viral immunology, transplantation immunology, and humanized mice models. One part of my study is focusing on how to use immunological way to control virus-induced diseases. We have a number of breakthroughs related to pediatric research. We provide a proof of concept to boost human immunity against influenza virus infection and EBV-induced tumors. 
We also developed a novel approach to induce immune tolerance for treating graft rejection and autoimmune disease. Professor Chu has great passion in pediatric immunology. He asked brilliant questions and addressed them in innovative ways. His work is not only of fundamental importance, but also of tremendous clinical value. I'm truly grateful to Anthony and Lina Chen for their generous donation to the university. This endowment will allow us to continue to do fundamental research related to pediatric immunology. It will also benefit children worldwide. I invite Mr. Anthony and Mrs. Lina Chang to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. Pro Chancellor, I present Anthony and Lina Chang Professor in Pediatric Immunology to Wei Wei. University education is more than adding knowledge or engaging in vocational training. It encompasses the preparation of young people to meet the myriad of challenges in society and to take up leadership roles. The Leung Chi Hong Distinguished Visiting Professorship in Leadership will inspire students to excel in both and is designed to attract world scholars with top distinction in academic and community leadership to the campus. The university aspires to provide opportunities for teachers and students to interact with renowned scholars at the forefront of their respective disciplines, enhances visibility in the international academic community, and foster invaluable links with leading institutions. With a generous donation of 20 million Hong Kong dollars from over 110 donors from across disciplines and professions, the university has created this academic legacy in Dr. Leung Chi Hong's honor in perpetuity. The annual investment will be used to support at least one distinguished visiting professor of the highest caliber each year and to foster long-term links with leading institutions in specific disciplines. The donors hope that through the Leung Chi Hong Distinguished Visiting Professorship in Leadership, the University of Hong Kong will continue to serve China and the world as a beacon of knowledge. I invite Dr. Lan Chi Hong to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. Infectious diseases have had a major impact on human societies. My work resituates disease at the heart of modern history. It bridges the humanities with medicine and science, and it offers new ways of thinking about the interrelationship between social, environmental, and biological processes and their role in driving disease and producing epidemics. I'm a historian of medicine and health, and I work closely with colleagues in the Faculty of Medicine. We're interested in developing an integrated approach, tackling infectious diseases in ways that will benefit the health of the community in Hong Kong, across the region and globally. The Centre for the Humanities and Medicine has been involved in many art projects. We see art as an important way of stimulating debate around key issues. Professor Robert Peckham is a distinguished professor in the Faculty of Arts. His work in the global history of medicine, disease and public health has won wide recognition. He has played a pioneering role in the development of the Centre of Humanities and Medicine. He's a talented researcher and an award-winning teacher. I would like to thank the late Mr M.B. Lee for his generous support of the Centre for the Humanities and Medicine. I will use the endowment to further the mission of the Centre, to bridge the gap between academic and public communities, and to foster interdisciplinary research 
that will promote health and well-being. I invite Mr. Johnson Lee to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. <laughs> Pro Chancellor, I present MB Lee Professor in Humanity and Medicine, Robert S. Peckham. Bone fractures are one of the commonest injuries that patients suffer and my research is on the improvement of fracture fixations and how people can get the best treatment. We are working on two areas. The first is on the design and development of innovative implants that will fix the bone well and the second is on how to enhance the fracture union with the use of biomaterials. We have developed an innovative screw design in fixing osteoporotic bones. The current designs, they are sometimes too rigid and the bones may break too easily. And our preliminary results shows a marked improvement over conventional implants. Professor Frankie Leung is a world-renowned expert in the field of orthopedic trauma. He has done a lot of research and brought Hong Kong to the international stage. Moreover, he is a very keen educator and he's been training many young doctors, uh, including myself. I would like to thank the late Dr. Tam Sai Kit and his family for establishing this endowment at the Department of Orthopedics and Traumatology. I will use the endowment to support my research in improvement of fracture fixations. I hope my work can benefit patients suffering from bone fractures all around the world. I invite Professor Kenneth Chung to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. <laughs> Pro Chancellor, I present Tam Saki, Professor in Orthopedics and Traumatology, Frankie K. L. Neal. My research is about uh, statistics, uh, big data, and uh, artificial intelligence. My key area of research is uh, on clinical trials. So my research involves uh, developing new statistical analysis and design to expedite uh, drug development and to improve the health care of the patient population. I'm also working with government and MTR to develop statistical analysis tool to identify the percentage of defective couplers in the newly constructed platform in Hong Han Station. Professor Yin has a wide range of research interests in the theoretical and applied aspects of statistics. He's at the forefront of research in artificial intelligence, clinical trials and Bayesian statistical methods. I hope my research would help the pharmaceutical industry as well as government to identify new effective treatment for patients. So I would like to thank uh, Dr. Patrick S. E. Poon to establish this endowed professorship. He has been a long supporter of the department and we all own great thanks to him. I would like to use this endowment to further enhance my research in clinical trials and big data as well as developing new research projects in AI. I invite Dr. Patrick Pong to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Pro Chancellor. <laughs> Pro Chancellor, I present Patrick S.C. Pong, Professor in Statistics and Actuary Science in Guosheng. <laughs> 